Yo, what's going on dudes? We're back with another episode in our full BT6 playthrough and I know I know the brand new 40.0 update just dropped but unfortunately we're not really going to be able to do too much about it because I am playing on Epic Games on this account and the update hasn't launched for Epic Games yet. So we're going to be continuing along with the blackboarding the cabin for this episode and then hopefully the brand new update for the 40.0 update drops soon for Epic Games. That way I can go through and and blackboard of the brand new map so because we um are gonna have to wait a little bit for the update let's go ahead and move on to magic monkeys only on the cabin and i'm not exactly sure why it takes so long for the update to drop for epic games like i was kind of expecting like when the update dropped for ios android and steam like they would probably submit the update for epic games at the same time but unfortunately i'm not like a game developer or anything like that so i'm not exactly too sure like the process that they have to go through like for all i i know like it could like it take like another couple of days for the update to drop for epic games because maybe it takes a little bit longer for the epic games process to process like updates so uh i wish i had an answer for you guys so if you guys are playing on epic games like don't worry too much because like i was saying i currently do not have the update for epic games either so you guys aren't missing out on anything right now well you guys are missing out because the 40.0 update is currently out it's just we can't play on epic games right now and like i was saying in the, the previous video i will go through and i will black border or i will go through and start black bordering the brand new extra map as soon as the update for uh balloon cd6 comes out in the the epic game store and that is probably going to mean that we're not going to be uh and that probably means that we're going to have to like pause our blackboard in the cabin so if you guys were like following along and looking forward to like half cash mode alternate balloon drowns and poppable and chimps unfortunately you guys will have to wait until we finish black bordering the extra map of glacial trail so hopefully you guys can forgive me a little bit for uh delaying the black border for glacial trail again there's nothing that i can really do about it now as far as like magic monkeys only the actual game mode that we're playing this time uh, i'm gonna be going with a dragon's breath strategy and i think i want to just do a basic uh wizard monkey strat here now of course we're not gonna be able to deal with the purple balloons uh when using the wizard monkey but luckily because we are using sada the purple balloons shouldn't give us too much of a hard time then once we upgrade this wizard monkey up to dragon's breath um all we need is our sada to deal with the purple balloons and of course our dragon's breath should be able to deal with all the balloons that our sada wasn't able to deal with all right so round 27 here is our dragon's breath now dragon's breath is such a good upgrade like apart from purple balloons the dragon's breath should pretty much be able to solo all of the balloons all the way up until the moab balloon now the moab balloon is another balloon that should give us a little bit of a hard time so in order to give ourselves a little bit more moab damage uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a wizard monkey and then this wizard monkey we're going to be upgrading up to the top pathway now we're only going to be able to grab a tier three because the tier four wizard monkey is a little bit on the expensive side so i'll probably end up grabbing the arcane mastery and then i'll also grab myself an alchemist and with this Al alchemist i am hoping to buff up our dragon's breath as well as our arcane mastery and the wizard monkey is just a, such a fun tower to use i wonder if ninja kiwi has any plans to like add a different type of magic tower I think it would be really cool to have like a shaman type of tower and what i mean by like a shaman type of tower is like have a tower that opposed to like using darts or using magic they place down different totems and the different totems that you place down it would be really cool if like the totems did like different types of attacks like you could have one totem that is kind of similar to like um the necromancer where when you place it down it'll reveal cam camel balloons so it kind of be like a support tower so it would have a shimmer effect and then for the second totem it could be like the middle pathway wizard where it has like a flame effect and it's able to pop lead balloons and then for the final totem it would just be like a normal totem that um it does a normal type of damage i think that would be a really cool idea for a little bit of a different tower because i know ninja kiwi has a bunch of plans for a, a bunch of different like towers to add to balloons especially when it like comes to heroes and stuff like that it's just i'm, I'm just like throwing or i'm just trying to like throw out a couple of uh, different ideas for like different towers that i thought 
uh, be really cool to see in balloons. But that's just like my idea for a new tower to add to balloons TD6. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any tower ideas that you guys would like to see added in balloons. Because there are so many different types of towers that you can add that I think would look really, really cool. And then another tower that we could add, we have a ninja monkey, right? But what about like a samurai monkey? Like where the samurai mutt monkey, it'll attack really, really slow, but it does a lot of da damage with like a really long sword. If you like upgrade it to a certain pathway, and then if you upgrade it to a different pathway, they have like a short sword that can attack a little bit faster, kind of similar to a Sada, but with a couple of a different upgrade options. I thought that would be, or I think that's another really cool, cool idea. All right, so round 49, let's go ahead and upgrade this wizard monkey up to arcane spike. Now, I am a little bit worried about round 63. So in order to make sure that we can deal with round 63, uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a Druid Monkey and we'll upgrade the Druid Monkey up to Jungle's Bounty. And then we'll also grab Hard Thorns. So we'll also grab Heart of Thunder as well. And then again, because one Druid Monkey shouldn't be enough to take on round 63, uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves another Druid of the Jungle. And then this one will upgrade to Heart of Vengeance. And then we'll just grab ourselves a few more uh, Druid of the Jungles in order to give us enough popping power for round 63. Something else I think would be really cool to add to balloons. Um, what if we added like a Lumberjack hero and the Lumberjack hero could actually go through and remove uh, like trees on specific maps. I think that would be another really like unique idea, but that would probably involve a lot of like recoding of the game. And I don't think that's something that Ninja Kiwi would, would want to do at least while they're currently working on a bunch of new content for balloons. And speaking of new content for balloons, um, I do know that Ninja Kiwi is currently working on implementing like mods, like uh, implementing modding in balloons TD6. If the 40.0 update is correct or the patch notes for the 40.0 update are correct, um, by the end of next year, we should have a modding tab for balloons TD6 where you guys will be able to go through and create your own mods to add them to balloon t6 so that's something that i'm really really looking forward to i originally thought that they were going to implement modding in this year but unfortunately i don't think they got around to it because they were working on paragons they were working on new bosses and they were working on the bt6 map editor as well so it's a little bit unfortunate that we didn't get it this year but i'd much rather have them uh implement it successfully than like kind of implement it with not a lot of features right so before you guys ask i really don't know too much uh in detail on what they plan on doing for the bt6 modding i'm not sure if they're gonna like make it available for mobile or if they are going to like come out with a light version for mobile um that's something that we'll have to wait until we get a little bit of a little bit more updates from Nin ninja kiwi in the future but knowing ninja kiwi when that drops it's going to be an absolute banger guys and for all i know ninja kiwi could be going like ham eggs and bacon and they could be like trying to develop their own engine kind of similar to what roblox did that will allow like get people to create their own mods and it would be a little bit easier than like trying to like uh, incorporate your mods by using like Unreal Engine or something like that. But a massive hats off to Ninja Kiwi because Ninja Kiwi had a absolutely massive year for Balloons TD6. It seems like every single update that Ninja Kiwi dropped was an absolute banger. Like I really like how Ninja Kiwi is like adding more and more detail to Balloons. Like, if you look at all of the recent heroes that Ninja Kiwi dropped, like, it looks like they're, like, trying to make uh, a more technical side to Balloons P6. If you're looking at, like, Geraldo, if you're looking at the Beast Handler, and, of course, if you're looking at the new Corvus as well, you can definitely tell that Ninja Kiwi is trying to evolve this game into a game that's made for all different types of people. Whether you're someone who just wants to, like, enjoy Balloons, like, in your free time, or if you're someone that wants to come up with, like, really, like tactical like strategies there's like a lot that Ni that ninja kiwi has done with balloons td6 so far it's absolutely insane and of course i can't wait to see what ninja kiwi is going to do in this next year like if they did it this much uh this year i'm super super stoked to see what they're going to be implementing next year like new bosses um they said uh, they said stuff about new heroes and of course they brought up a new tower as well so right now we have no idea what the new tower is oh, we, oh yeah and i almost forgot about paragons as well 
we're also going to be having new paragons drop too and i do apologize guys that i got a little bit distracted like talking about like all the things with the ninja kiwi but the strategy is pretty basic we just grabbed ourselves a bunch of druid of the jungles we grabbed ourselves like another dragon's breath and we grabbed ourselves a bunch of arcane spikes in order to deal with this umg balloon on round 80 and there we have it is we have officially a beaten magic monkeys only on the cabin but anyways, dudes, that that's going to do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, if you guys are new around here, don't forget to subscribe as well because I do upload a daily BT6 content. But anyways, dudes, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you dudes in the next one.